Hello, and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Now, I've just been to my local coin shop and spent exactly £50 on coins. So I thought I'd show you guys what I got for £50, and you can comment down below if you think I got any good deals, maybe if I was overcharged, and if you think you could buy the same sort of thing in your local shop for the same price. I want to start with the cheapest, sort of worst stuff if you like, and build up to the best stuff I got in my £50 coin bundle. So, hop along for the ride and see all these lovely coins that I bought today. Right then, let's begin with the cheapest items. First up are these. There are three three pence coins here, a 1919, 1918, and another 1919, and it's a bit dirty. I already have all of these dates in my date run, but they're only a pound each, which is very good, so these are a good investment into silver bullion. And for three pounds, what could go wrong? The next coin up is this one here, and it is an 1872 sixpence, as we see here, with a laureate around the word sixpence, and the St Edward's crown at the top, with the date at the bottom. On the obverse, we see the young head portrait of Queen Victoria, now the legend on this coin is fully intact, and that makes the coin look really cool, I think as well as the toning from all those years ago. Next up is this coin. It is a 1674 farthing, and as you can see, I paid £5. I'll get it out of the packet to have a closer look. So, as you can see, the coin is quite worn, although we can still make out Britannia and the date 1674 at the bottom. For 350 years old, this isn't bad. And, on the obverse of the coin, it even features Charles II as we can see here, and his portrait is fairly good as well. Also for £5, I got this. Now as you can see, this is a 1922 florin. So this coin is over a hundred years old, and it only cost me £5, especially because it's in very nice condition. We can see the usual design here by George Kruger Grey, and on the obverse, the only reason this isn't the best coin is it's quite sort of, you know, green and a bit mank. But, um, but looking at it this way, it's a very nice coin. And again, quite a good deal, Concerning this coin is 50% silver. The next coin I bought is very small. Even the capsule is tiny. Now we can just make out here Queen Victoria's Veiled Head Portrait by Thomas Brock. So this means it'll be after 1893. If we look on the other side, we can see how much I paid. And it says £10, which is what I paid. So let's open the capsule up and have a look at what coin this is. You may have guessed by the size, but this is a Maundy Penny. Now due to the size as well, it's very hard to focus. You may be able to make out the date 1899. You'll also be able to make out that there is a hole at the top of the coin where it's been worn as a necklace or a piece of jewellery. Now this highly devalues the coin, meaning I could get it for an affordable price rather than paying a huge premium as it is in lovely condition apart from the hole. Next coin in this £50 bundle is something more modern and here we can see it is a bunk pack commemorating a century of royal service, the centenary of the House of Windsor 2017 UK £5 brilliant uncirculated coin in the bunk pack. Let's zoom in on the design. And wow, that is a lovely design. Of course, in the bunk quality, it looks really clear and detailed. We can see a lovely wreath crowned with a St. Edward's crown and the inscription around the edge with a date at the bottom. A lovely coin, and of course, comes up with the openable bunk pack to see all details and facts about what the coin commemorates on the inside. And now for the grand finale, the most expensive coin I bought. And here it is. For £14 is a half crown from 1875. Let's get it out and have a closer look. So, here is the obverse, as you've seen, featuring the young head portrait of Queen Victoria by William Wyon. The date, 1875, is at the bottom, and the inscription round the edge. Now, it is very worn, but I do love the feel of these old worn coins that have been used in circulation back in Victorian times. Here is the reverse, featuring the royal shield crowned, the wreath around it, and the legend is quite worn, so you can't really read it that well on this coin, but I still like it very much. And I paid 14 pounds, as I said. And so there we go. That is everything I bought at the coin shop today for only 50 pounds. And I think that just goes to show how much collectability, history, and wonderful coins can be purchased for the relatively small price of only 50 pounds. As always, thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Please do comment down below what coins you've been buying recently, and if you've got any good deals. And we, of course, hope to see you again on another Bits and Balls video. Bye.